Hello, young violinists. I'm Janusz Wawrowski and today I will answer your next questions. So, uh, I would like to concentrate on two main themes today. The first question is about Henryk Wieniawski, Polonaise in D major, uh, about famous plays with chords on the first page. <laughs> So, uh, of course, there's a question about the intonation, but also about the clarity of the sound. So, how can we play it uh, to make it lighter? How can we play it to make it more clear in team, let's say? What I think we should uh, concentrate in this particular place, maybe uh, on the upper voice, because I think the main melody is in the upper voice. It's uh, a little bit like in the for example, Henryk Wieniawski Opus 15, variations on the original uh, theme. Uh, so it's not like, um, for example, sometimes in Bach or Isai music that we have to concentrate on the lower uh, voices. So maybe even pra to practice like this, like with arpeggios. Right? I think we, we just should uh, uh, save the bow. Let's say it's like, it's a bit like a bit maybe, okay, to the main voice. Even maybe pianoforte. Of course, we should try technically with the left hand, with the intonation. We should think about, uh, about first and second finger to try to keep it in the same place and to adapt the shape of your hand to play with the fourth and third finger uh, really flexible. Yes, so we have to adapt our hand. Yes, in the same moment the fourth and the third finger uh, have to be, they have to be flexible and the first and the second finger should be all the time in one place. And here, of course, we change. So, we think about the upper voice, we think uh, about relaxation of the left hand, to keep particular fingers in one place and to move other flexible, um, yeah, I think that should help, of course, uh, besides the regular work with intonation, of listening, maybe with, sometimes with open string, it's in D major, so maybe we should... Uh, we should concentrate to, to adapt the fingers to the, to the key in which we are playing. Second question was about uh, how do I deal with uh, stress before the concert, before the public performances. Hmm. The thing is that I, we should accept the fact that we are afraid because it's, it's natural. Yes, we are hungry, uh, we want to eat, um, we are afraid of the man uh, who is attacking us with the, with the knife or with the gun. And to, we will be afraid before going to the stage. So there is certain energy which, which is in our body. This is adrenaline, you know, you feel it in your body, in your muscles, in your blood, in your heart, in your head, everywhere, Some, sometimes in stomach. And I think we cannot uh, just completely uh, um, hold it, yes? We, I think the best way for me, for me, personally for me, is to accept the fact that I'm, I have a stress. And I'm trying to, to change it uh, to the positive energy. I try to be excited before going to the stage. I try to think about very positive things, like there is a lot of people. Of course, there is a lot of, of, of people. Maybe I should afraid. No, I, I'm, I'm trying to think there is a lot of people and they want to listen to me. They want to listen to the music, they want to have fun, they want to uh, have some, you know, some special moments coming to concert. Uh, this is one. I'm trying to think about uh, my fun during the stage performance. Um, 
right. I'm trying to think about uh, the piece I like, for example, yes, uh, I really love to play, for example, Tchaikovsky. So I'm going to the stage and yes, finally, my whole work uh, will be, you know, the, there is a big final on the stage. So I'm finishing the big, big uh, work on the stage. The other thing is if we can really rest and relax before the, the concert, before the performance, uh, for me it's much better not to, not to work too much just before the concert. I mean, day before, yes, two days before, yes. But the, the, the day of the concert should be like a special day, you know, that you prepare, you wait for this moment when you go to the stage. Of course, it's not, it's not possible all the time, but let's try to, let's try to do it. Then, then you have much more uh, positive energy. So uh, in general, think very positive, try to change this, you know, energy uh, for really something beautiful, something positive, you know, go crazy to the stage or have a fun before, or, you know, just be a child maybe a little bit. Uh, and you will see, don't, don't think about all the mistakes you can do, don't think about uh, the places you, you were not able to practice enough. Just, you know, think about really about positive things and I think it, it, it will help you a lot. Of course, we have to practice before, we have to be really um, prepared for the concert if we are really working hard enough before the concert, uh, two, three, four weeks before the concert and then we relax on the last day, it will be much, much, much better for you. So. I hope uh, I gave you some new information and it will help you. And don't forget to send me your videos, your questions on Facebook, Instagram, maybe on YouTube. And remember, stay home with violin.